or the other, don't they? You got love, hate, happiness, sadness, uh, anger, laughing, crying, and on and on. I mean, it's just, you know, we're always experiencing some type of an emotion. Healing is needed when an emotion affects your life in a negative way. Anger, unforgiveness, and even love when that love is directed in the wrong way. And you probably know or maybe you have experienced life at a time when an emotion has gripped you so violently that you can't let go of it and it takes your mind, it takes your life away from God. It does all these things in a negative way to you. Now that's when you are in need of emotional healing. God can heal and bring that to you. Then there's relational healing. And this is important to God as well. God expects us to live together in unity and at peace with one another. He does. Families are divided. Friendships work. Uh, uh, friendships become divided. Work relations become divided. Even nations struggle and are divided against one another. But God can heal division. He can heal relationships. He can make life at peace with someone who you have not been at peace with. That doesn't mean they have to be your best friend. But what I'm saying is God can bring you to a place where you can have peace in your relationships with everyone. God has the power to do that. And lastly, most importantly, spiritual healing. And this, as I said, for me, is the most important. God wants us to be whole spiritually so much that he sent his son Jesus to die. And you see, the reason I say spiritual healing is so much more important is because out of all the sicknesses, uh, out of everything that God heals us of, spiritual healing is the only one that's eternal in nature. See, all this other stuff is just in this life. It's all temporal. This that I have today had Better be gone next week. See, it's temporal. Even our struggles mentally, relationally, physically, all those things are contained in this life, in this world. But spiritual healing has greater ramifications in our life because it goes beyond this life into the life to come. So spiritual healing is far and above in God's mind much more important. I would rather know Jesus and be saved as a Christian and have Christ in my life than I would if I had to speak like this the rest of my life. You see what I'm saying? Spiritual healing. 1 Peter 2.24 And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross that we might die to sin and live to righteousness, for by his wounds you were what? Healed. See? Spiritual. Spiritual healing. It's so important in our lives. So I want you to know today that God heals. It heals everything. It, it's relational. It's mental. It's physical. It's spiritual. And there's no reason for anyone to be sick in this world when there is a God in heaven who can heal us of that if we yield to that God, if we have faith to believe that God can do it. You see, faith is an integral part of God's healing plan. Isn't that what Jesus told Jairus? Just believe. Do you, just believe. She's not dead. Do you believe that? Let's go, Lord. 
And they went. And where there was a death, there was life. Because he believed Jesus. He believed Jesus for that. So when you come today to partake of these elements of communion, come believing. I don't know, and I, truth is, you know, I don't need to know what you need healing from. Because God knows. He's the one that does the healing. So again, when you come today and are served these elements of communion, I will be coming behind those that are serving, Chris and Alan, and I will simply say, do you wish to be anointed? And if you do, I will anoint you and ask God to heal you of whatever it is. You don't have to tell me. Just nod your head, yes or no. Yes, I want to be anointed. No, I don't. Uh, and I will anoint you and believe God to heal you or to heal that person that you are praying for. Okay? If you would get your uh, insert out uh, out of your bulletin, we'll prepare to have our service of communion. Let me find my... Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Let us bow our heads and let us pray before God our prayer of thanksgiving and confession and pardon. Heavenly Father, bless these today, Lord. Pour your Holy Spirit upon them. May your hand of healing rest upon those who seek healing today. Lord, we come before you <clears throat> as a broken people, a people of great need, but yet a people deeply in love with you. So we proclaim your wonder, your goodness, your majesty, your might, and we call upon your presence in this place today. Heavenly Father, bless those who come before you in this time of communion. And at this time, I want to simply ask that you pray quietly and pray your own prayer of confession, your own prayer of need before God. Let us pray quietly together.